All right. Ready? Ready. We're going to open up the special meeting of the Senate Defense RDA. Roll call, please. All right. Chair Terry Delvo. Here. Vice Chair Matt Schuler. Here. Public Person Barbara Dorr. Here. Uh, Debbie Dane has to be excused. Jim Boomerick. Here. Kathy Hinkfus. Here. Melanie Parma. Here. Okay. Now to a motion and approval of the agenda. So moved. Second. Uh, Jim and Barb. Uh, all those in favor are saying aye. 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 Well, so carried. So the first part of the meeting is, is public hearing, hearings. And so we're going to have um, four actually individual public hearings. Number one is public hearing regarding adoption of a territory amendment to the project plan for tax and criminal district 12. I-43 of the support which, which, which proposes the addition of 926 Erie Road, tax parcel 21-171. Right here. So in short, and we'll talk about these under regular business. Um, right. This is what is being proposed uh, to add one parcel uh, to 1012. And so this is part of the process for that um, to have a public hearing. Okay, and that's the parcel in Red Lake. Correct. Yeah, this is parcel southwest corner of Mason Street and Erie Road. So that was uh, privately held before? Uh, it was privately held. The city purchased it and then transferred it to Nature's Way uh, right. as part of the yep. redevelopment project involving all the other parcels. Yep. Around. Thanks for the, uh, yeah, okay. Is anybody here who would like to speak in regard to this particular um, adoption? Uh, does anybody here like to speak in regards to this particular um, adopting the public plan of protection from the District 12? Does anybody here like to speak in regards to adoption of a territory amendment to the public plan of protection from the District 12? Hearing none. Um, so really, uh, we're, we're not really going to get into um, the actual business of adopting them until the regular Right now, is it, we're, what's your public hearing and then we're going to the, the right. Yep. Okay. Sure. Yep. okay. Okay, so we'll move on to the next public hearing, which is a public hearing <coughs> regarding the dissolution of the tax increment of a district 17, which is 900 Black North Broadway. Okay, that's right there. So we're, so we're, we're going to just continue that particular kit. Correct. It's a. Um, few small parcels. It's a one that's created for a particular project, 900 north block of Broadway. Um, project since been completed. Um, so I'll talk about the numbers a little bit more when we get into it, uh, but there's no reason for this district to continue moving forward. Okay. Uh, is there anybody here like to, like to make any comments in regard to public hearing regarding the solution of taxing on District 17? Is there anyone here who would like to speak in regard to the, the dissolution of taxing from the District 17? Is there anybody here who would like to speak in regard to the dissolution of taxing from the District 17, which is 900 Black North Broadway? Okay, hearing none. <coughs> the next public hearing regarding the creation of the re Rehabilitation and Conservation Tax Income the District 20 with me part and adoption of the project plan which identifies potential redevelopment activities including disbursements of grants and loans as well as the installation, construction, or reconstruction of streets, utility parks, and other public infrastructure. So this is a project that we've uh, discussed earlier this year. Um, really brought on by some development projects in this neighborhood, uh, Whitney School Redevelopment, uh, Whitney Park Townhomes in 901 Main. Um, we've been working internally um, to create a the proper size for uh, this tax increment district. Um, we believe that we have it. Uh, we're proposing creating a new uh, rehab and conservation uh, district. Um, just over the threshold of 50% of the properties needing uh, rehab and conservation work. Um, and so with that, um, we're recommending uh, adoption uh, of this district. And again, I'll discuss a little bit more on the project plan uh, after the public hearing. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Just in time, Jeff. <laughs> Is there anyone here that would like to uh, make comments regarding the creation of rehabilitation and conservation tax for the District 20? Is anybody in the public that would like to make comments in regard to creation and rehabilitation? Oh, yes, um, uh, please. Uh, could you Does, just oh, please just get up? Or, I mean, if you can just state your name and address uh, for the record. 
Adam Proska, 400 North Monroe. Um, I'm just wondering, because I can't really see where, um, how far towards the river does this go? Like, what is the border on this? Uh, so here is Main Street where it comes around the curve. This yep. is the East River. Yep. And so like here's the old Greyhound Station here, which is just outside of it. It's basically um, around Main Street between Van Buren and Webster Avenue. Um, so this is where the CVS is on the corner. Uh, oh, okay. The Whitney Park, or excuse me, yeah, Whitney Park townhomes. Uh, this is the old Whitney School, and then some properties along Van Buren Street. So Monroe, this is Quincy. Monroe is here. Rivers over here. Okay, because um, if we're if the city is going to do um, something with this, I would strongly suggest because you know obviously from my address, um, you know we we walk to the attic. My my partner is in a poor wheelchair. Um, the sidewalks in uh, along Boulder are in serious need of some attention, resurfacing and stuff. And there was the fire at the Asian grocery store um, at the corner. That I think, if this is something that can be done with this funding, I think that would be something that uh, okay. the RDA should consider including and expanding this district. Okay. This is just complete. This was completely just off the top of my head. I didn't even know you were doing this. <laughs> I just figured I might as well throw that out there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, does anybody else like to make comments in regard to the creation of the rehab and the conservation tax income district? I'm not sure the second or third time I get back at the one. more time. Just one more time. right? Does yeah. <laughs> anybody in the public like to make comments in regard to the creation of rehabilitation and conservation tax income district? Plenty. Thank you. Thanks for your comments. Very, very much appreciated. Okay, last public hearing regarding the creation of a blight elimination back in from the District 21, which is Green Bay Packaging Adoption of the Project Plan, which identifies potential redevelopment activities, including disbursement of grants and loans, as well as installation, construction, and reconstruction of streets, utility parks, and other public infrastructure. So All right. Yeah, so, please, please. Yep, so this is uh, regarding uh, Green Bay Packaging's uh, mill expansion, or new mill and box plant expansion. Uh, the properties pretty much encompass uh, packaging properties from the river uh, over to Webster Avenue um, along Radisson Street. Uh, this is a project we talked about this summer, a uh, significant investment for the company and then for the city. Um, and so in order to move forward with that development agreement, uh, we would recommend uh, the creation of a blight elimination district, uh, 21 um, blight elimination designation being provided here. Um, you know that mill is several decades old. Um, parts of it, in terms of just you know general health, safety, welfare, um, can be classified as, as blight, and would like to move forward uh, with creating this district to allow that project to move forward. Excellent. So, anybody here that, uh, in, in the public would like make comments regarding the creation of blight elimination tax income in District 21? Is there anybody in the public that would make comments regarding the creation of blight elimination tax income in District 21? Is there anybody in the, uh, in the public that would like make comments regarding the creation of the blight elimination tax income in District 21? Uh, you guys have very good comments. Did, 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 did we get your name and address? I got a good, good. Yes. Thank you. Could you spell the last name? Uh, yes. P as in Paul, R O C H A S K A. Okay, with the, with the four uh, public hearings, uh, we'll, we will move from the public hearings to our regular business. And the first thing on regular business is consideration of public action on a resolution regarding adoption of a territory amendment. To project plan for taxing district 12 1 I 43 industrial park. Yes, so uh, this is mentioned. Um, this is the existing uh, TID 12, uh, basically, uh, kind of the second phase TID out there, um, the second phase of the I 43 yes. industrial park. Um, really created in terms of uh, providing drawer expansion and really a lot of the properties east of Huron Road. Um, this last year, uh, we talked about um, the expansion of Nature's Way and signed a development agreement with Nature's Way uh, to construct a new health food manufacturing facility. Um, 
bought 28 acres from the city, and then the city also uh, purchased um, two smaller parcels. One, you can see the farmhouse at the far bottom left, and then uh, an abandoned farmhouse uh, at the bottom right. Uh, with that, uh, originally, the parcel at the bottom right um, was not included in the original tax increment district, as you can see. Uh, it was not part of that. Um, but we would like to put it into the tax increment district in order to help gain compliance with their building and zoning codes. Um, we cannot combine the parcels until they are both in the TIP. And so uh, where that facility is being built, uh, it's very close to the property lines. Um, Nature's Way owns all the properties uh, right now, um, but we need them to, or we need to incorporate this into the TID in order to be able to combine those parcels into one parcel and make the structure uh, compliant uh, with that. Um, with that, uh, Nature's Way did close on that property at the end of last year, uh, so it will go into the TID, um, I believe a value of about $170,000. As a base value, so we're allowed four amendments for boundaries, right? Correct. And this would be um, as I went back and looked, there was one or two others. So we're there at three or four. I'm sorry, we're at two or three. Correct. So we would have one more kick at the game should that happen to be necessary. Correct. I don't think it will be. I think the next action for this, and we discussed, is probably going to be a closure. Okay. Um, we are, if you've been out there, you've seen um, part of Erie Road south of Mason Street reconstructed uh, mm -hmm. down to the mm -hmm. property boundary. Um, we're also going to be working on reconstruction and expansion of the sewer um, a little further south, all the way down to the village of, of Bellevue Line. Um, we ran into a wetland issue that prevented us from going further south. And then also, Sewer expansion that will basically enable us to serve everything east of Erie and south of Finger um, and add some additional capacity. Um, once that is done, all in project cost should probably be in the range. I think we talked about six and a half to seven million dollars um, based on the funds in the TID and increment we have coming in. We should be able to pay for that out of TID funds directly without any bonding. Um, but we'd like to get those completed first, and once that is done, um, we can look at closing down that TID and then potentially a new tax increment district for the areas east of there. Okay. Okay, anything else? Numbers? Yes, so, I guess I'll put a motion. I'll move to approve. Motion uh, by Jim. Second. I think we're okay. Okay, it's okay. Kathy? 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 And, and Gary, I'm going to abstain okay. from voting on this one, seeing as I work at Nature's Way. Yep. Okay, so <coughs> there's a motion and a second. Oh, first of all, before I go to vote, is there any other comments or questions? Uh, I once want to get to ask that, so I'm going to make sure I do that. Any other comments or questions? If not, we will go into voting. By the way, I report to you a tremendous success, and this is going to be a continuation. I'm very, very excited. Yeah, I'm very, <coughs> very excited about what's been going on out there. All right, um, item number two consideration of possible action of resolution regarding the dissolution. I think I pronounced the right term. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> the Tax Increment District 17, 900 Black, North Broadway. All right, so <coughs> this is a small tax increment district. I believe I put the original project plan into your packet. Um, primarily this was created for the Packer Land Builders Project, 900 block um, North Broadway. Um, with that, the, the project has been completed and substantially completed. Uh, however, the project um, did not provide what we felt would be the guaranteed amount of increment in there. Um, I think they were looking at guaranteeing about half a million dollars worth of development. I think we're at about, what, 350, 360 um, in terms of what has been created. Uh, with that, um, the, the, there's no future development. I mean, it's, it's been redeveloped, and there's nothing really more mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. redevelop in that area. Um, and with that, let me pull up. 
slide that showed last time. If you remember back when I gave um, TID reports earlier <coughs> this past summer, um, here. this North Broadway one, it's currently scheduled to close in, in 2035. Um, it is bringing in um, some increment, but slowly, um, and it's about $64,000 in the hole. Um, if we left it open, um, it's going to take <coughs> 10 years to, to come out of that. Mm -hmm. um, with that, uh, we do have some guarantees in the original developer's agreement um, in order to seek relief for the um, value that they were supposed to create. Um, and so we plan on going um, to recoup that. Um, and that really doesn't matter whether the tax increment district is in effect or not. Um, that, that agreement, um, I think, allows us to go forward and, and work on collecting that um, those funds. And, and so with that, we feel it's best to, at this time, you know, close the district down. Uh, again, you know, I think more is really going to be developing there. Right. Um, and, and it's best just to move forward uh, the, those funds back on, on the levy. So are there any loans as a part of the improvement <coughs> that were granted to the owner? Um, yeah, there was some money that was spent for property acquisition, and that's where the funding went or was tied up in okay. some of that acquisition funding. Yeah, because improvement number two was loans or grants to the owner and developer. So we didn't do any of that. My understanding, it wasn't a direct loan, it was just the property no, was acquisition. Property, property transfer. Correct. Okay. And what, what's the security in the form of? Um, personal guarantee. When was it first opened? Um, 2008. Okay. Not, not, not the more to be done, so we should pull it up. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a small handful of parcels. Right. Um, yeah. If you want to go further, no. discuss no. legal stretch another time, but yes, that, um, it happened and I mean, we've looked through two of the properties themselves and there's not much more that could be <coughs> developed. It was an old, was it dairy barn or some type of warehouse? I mean, in serious disrepair. I mean, um, but what's been put there is just um, basically all we're going to get. There's not much more room to build anything more there. Okay. Uh, any other comments or questions? Otherwise, I'll entertain a motion. Either way. Move to approve. Second. second. All in mind. And second by Jim. Uh, so, oh, any other comments or questions besides that? <laughs> <laughs> I keep keep remembering. Yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. All right, if not, we shall vote. Mr. Matt again. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Just teasing you, Matt. All right, hmm. past you now. There one. <laughs> yeah, I have to say sometimes Just more than once. once. All right. Yeah, item number three. Consideration of a possible action and resolution regarding the creation of a rehabilitation uh, and conservation tax in for District 20, Whitney Park and adoption of project plan. So earlier um, <coughs> this year with our joint review board, uh, we had talked about the creation of a new tax increment uh, district uh, in and around the Whitney Park uh, area uh, based on a number of projects that were at the time in, in progress. Um, and since those talks, we've had three development agreements come through. Uh, earlier this year, redevelopment of Whitney School, um, taking the school, rehabbing it into 22 uh, market rate apartments, uh, in addition, putting a dozen townhomes around the perimeter of that parking lot. Uh, we've also uh, done a development agreement to redevelop May 901 Main Street into a project called May 901, uh, which will have uh, 20 market rate apartments along with the, the small retail space. Uh, and then the fourth phase of the Whitney Park townhomes, uh, which will look at, uh, this is a north west corner of Cherry and Van Buren, um, starting with four uh, 
townhomes in, in this area, uh, looking to expand in the future. Uh, but these three projects, uh, within the last few months, we've done development agreements for. All of them have been predicated uh, upon us um, asking the JRB to create a tax increment district to support the financing. Um, we've talked about uh, these projects. Um, all of them are pay-go projects. Uh, so with that, we've built in uh, the project plan. You can see the pro forma, uh, some funds for um, I guess what we'll call management in terms of just some administration of developing development agreements and then working on getting things um, underway right up front. Uh, with that, the incremental taxes, we anticipate most of them coming online uh, by 2021. Um, buildings start construction now, uh, basically completed in 2019, so uh, they're online, one one of 20, and basically generating increment in, in 2021. Um, with that, uh, most of these agreements, the, the Whitney School, uh, we've looked at, uh, will probably carry throughout most of the TID, um, but the May 901 and Whitney Park townhomes, both of those have about a 12 year payback in terms of their, mm -hmm. their caps when they're supposed to reach those. Uh, so with that, this is just a, a projected um, TID balance that we're looking at. Um, within that, uh, the also the project plan, um, you know, it does call for a number of other improvements. Um, when we talk about you know uh, other infrastructure pieces, um, there's nothing imminent that is needed right now. Uh, with that, um, Mr. Proshka, is that you say? Prohaska. Prohaska. Um, you know, I talked about you know potentially some pedestrian improvements, sidewalk improvements, um, like some other ones. I think once we are able to accumulate a cash balance in in that um, account. Uh, we can look at infrastructure improvements uh, in the district, but then also uh, adjacent <coughs> to the district, so long as they service the district, you know, in terms of providing transportation to and from. Um, so that, I think, we can take a look at, um, if you want to identify specifically in there, maybe some things along Bodart Street. Uh, but right now, all of those infrastructure projects, we do not have any, um, I guess, capital outlays from the start. Those are all things that we would like to consider uh, once balance is committed in there. Uh, but we do not plan on spending any money or taking out any debt service out front uh, for any of those projects. Um, so with that, um, again, the, the project plan was, was in your packet, and I'd be happy to answer any questions. The word PAYGO just struck my memory on the prior conversation about Broadway. That one was not a PAYGO where you wouldn't be looking to recover from the developer. So it just proves the benefit of a PAYGO methodology, so you don't have to go back and slap them on the wrist and take them to the bank. Absolutely. Yeah. We're trying to learn. <laughs> In um, your graphs, you have a management fee. Is that um, to the city of Green Bay? Is that um, yep. to fund the work that you know your department does? Yes. So That's generally, um, what I do, and I won't bore you, but I want to see all of the spreadsheets no I think it's smart so um, uh, that you that that's built into these yep. projects so generally what we so. do without going too much um, you know we look at basically a, a staff amount and this is something that director Ellen Buckner and I work on uh, in terms of look there's certain expenses that myself director Ellen Buckner director I mean our whole development mm -hmm. team to the attorney I mean spend time on and so some of that those funds get charged back to the TIDs um, I think those are based on you know we look at projects we're talking about and in this one you know right now there's three projects active projects that we're working on development agreements and going things through um, so I'm starting uh, with an amount but then rolling that down as time goes on because generally they just they need less attention I mean they still do need some annual maintenance I mean we have no, to file reports to do those things um, the other is just a, a budget for professional services sometimes things come up where we need to go and do some due diligence on a property or, or figure something out or, you know whether it's an environmental thing or something else so there's a small budget built in for that we don't have to spend that if nothing comes up we don't use it um, and then the DOR the fee um, just it's got kicked up to a thousand dollars I don't anticipate it escalating as fast as I put here but just just in case you never know what the state um, what those fees may be. So those three things together, I guess I'll call the, the management fee what it costs us to administer these tests. Now that's, I'm glad to see it. What is DOR? The, department, the State Department of Revenue. So for having a tax increment district within the community, every year you have to pay a, an annual fee oh. per district. And I believe it's $1,000 per district. Oh, really? It was 800 they just knocked it up really? this year, yeah. 
Um, and then there's also, we'll have to pay, there's a creation fee. Um, I think you can close them for free, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, right? <laughs> um, but the, those are annual fees that you have to pay because, again, they have to do work to maintain and administer all these things to So them. regardless of the size of the kid, it's a thousand dollars? Regardless of the size. Okay. Yeah. So big or small, yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, comments. Yeah, I'll make a comment. It's in regard to our TIF capacity or TID capacity. I, I looked ahead too to see what the uh, uh, Green Bay packaging impact would be. So municipalities are allowed 6% equal raised valuation, 12%. 12. 12. As, as a cap. Mm -hmm. And we're with even with uh, Green Bay packaging, it will end up being 5.7. So we're less than half of our capacity. So we're well within the boundaries. In, in my prior history, I remember some being over 12%. Yes. Yeah, some close by. <laughs> Can you do these being over? We don't have some hair, right? Yeah, yeah one good kid. Yeah, so anyway, reasonable. Yeah, right, I agree. You said 6%? Yeah, 5.7 with the Green Bay packaging and the max is 12. All right, other uh, comments or questions? Or Maybe I just make these notes first. How do we go on here, Kim? So I'll move to approve. Second. Uh, motion by Jim, second by Matt. Uh, any other comments or questions in regard to uh, the motions? If not, we shall vote. So the bottom line, Jim, we feel we're doing a good job with our kids. Overall. The lower it is, the less I would say that. But, I mean, you know, you want to use the tool that's available Absolutely. for redevelopment. Oh my gosh, so. make things happen. Yeah. Absolutely. Now remember, it's not so long ago we we're in the 2 to 3 percent range. And that's yeah. like, not that's not enough. enough. No, it's not enough. No, we're not maximizing our ability. Yep. Absolutely. Motion passed unanimously. Good. Number four. Consideration of possible action and resolution regarding the creation of a blight elimination tax increment district 21. Green Bay packaging and adoption of the project plan. <coughs> All right, so this uh, earlier this year we discussed the new <coughs> bill at Green Bay Packaging um, along with uh, moving forward with some additions to their box plant facility on, on Radisson Street, uh, along with some smaller improvements uh, throughout their facilities. Um, so we did sign a uh, development agreement in June um, to move forward with, with this uh, expansion. Um, probably as a standalone, uh, the more if not the most significant you know, individual uh, investment we've had on a piece of property in, in our city. Um, yes. okay. uh, I think it again, goes without saying, you know, we're, we're very thankful. Um, you know, Green Bay Packaging had a lot of options uh, when they were looking at uh, this project. Um, and we're glad that they chose to, you know, stay with the city of Green Bay. Um, so with that, in, in order to help, um, you know, finance uh, this project, um, we're creating a tax increment district uh, that involves their property. Uh, again, talking about light illumination here, uh, you have facilities that are you know, outdated in terms of health and safety from, um, you know, an industrial aspect. Um, so we're looking, they're looking to replace some of those uh, with some new modern updated facilities. Um, you know, again, they're uh, very impressed by their environmental uh, footprint here that they're looking to reducing part of the project, you know, moving from coal to natural gas, um, and the whole water, wastewater discharge system, you know, pretty much going to zero discharge, recirculating their water. Um, you know, those are really great things for you know, our community. Um, in terms of the, the project plan and, and what we're looking at for costs. Um, really, uh, this was a joint effort between us, the state, the county, um, NEW Water, uh, coming together to, to make this project work. Uh, our portion involves a, a PAYGO. Um, it's an aggressive PAYGO, it's, it's 90%, um, but with that we're talking about some pretty substantial <coughs> dollars. Um, and with that, you know, we see this thing cash flowing in terms of creating a, an account um, to, that has some money to do some minor projects going forward in the future if things come up in terms of some smaller infrastructure things, 
Uh, we're redoing Webster Avenue right now, but maybe in a few years we figure out, you know, signal optimization or crossings or other things that need to be done. Um, we can have some funds to be able to move forward with that. Um, so with that, um, you know, again, we're recommending the creation of this district and we'd be happy to answer any questions about the project plan. Just one comment I'll make on the uh, fiscal impact discussion on the uh, agenda item. It lists the uh, incremental value of $46 million, which is the net of, I presume, tearing down the $18 million of old property and adding $64 million of new real estate. And I say real estate for the purpose of taxability within the state. Machinery and equipment is not taxable. So if you're $500 million mill, the biggest <laughs> proportion of that is machinery and equipment, which is not taxable. It would be the real estate or the $64 million. Correct. Um, these numbers came in consultation with DOR. Um, just knowing at the end of the day, they're the ones who are going to be assessing this facility. Um, it does seem a little crazy that you know you spend half a billion dollars on a project, yeah, and at the end of the day, this is what you have yeah. to show for it. Um, with that, you know the machinery and in these projections, we actually have accounted for zero personal property. Um, just knowing the variability of the state, and really most of it ends up being exempt, or if they would go away with it, um, and I'll go back. That's the same thing for the previous district. Um, if it comes in, great, we'll take mm -hmm. it. But if not, we never really counted the assumptions. Um, so, thank you for pointing that out. Yeah. Um, comments, questions? Yeah. I'd like to move to approve this one. All the person. Right. I'll second that, Gary. Okay. We'll second by Matt. Very good, Bert. <laughs> thank you. I'm excited. <laughs> Absolutely. I think that's extremely exciting. Okay, you've got a motion a second, you've got to ask for another discussion. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Any other comments or questions? Keeping you honest. <laughs> I'll get better at this. Um, yeah, if not, we'll vote. <laughs> yeah, if you want a room named after you. Well done, Jim. <laughs> Is there anything else uh, he's done that you want to discuss? Probably if not, I'll, I'll get a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Third. Yeah. Melody <laughs> uh, and Matt. Sure. 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 Okay. Yes. Thank you. We are adjourned. Cool. Uh, tomorrow we'll be meeting at twelve thirty.